everyone so I am here today to film my IMAX haul and let me just say IMAX was insane this was my third year I must say that they're getting more organized they're getting stricter about things which makes things better but the amount of people that go to this show now is bananas like it felt like there was like 5,000 people in a small room like the morph line I didn't even get to go because morph was literally insane like the line was probably two hours I was just not gonna wait for that also NYX was insane I never seen the line for NYX so bad in my life literally every line you had to wait for was an hour or more tart I didn't even get to make it I wanted to go because they had the best deals like they had the foundation the Amazonian clay foundation for like $12 it was insane I didn't get to go because I had other priorities and I was also shopping for other people so it was a little difficult for me and I was by myself so it was really hard I got most of the stuff that I wanted but if I go again to IMAX I want to go with a group of people so that we can separate you go here you go here and it'll be faster and just so much better. Anastasia Beverly Hills didn't even have discount on their products. They actually upped the price, which I thought was crazy, but to each their own. I was in the line, they gave me a pamphlet, and I was like, this is not even discounted, it's actually more. So I'd rather just order online, if anything, but I don't need anything after this show. So enough rambling, and let's just jump right into the stuff that I bought. So the first booth I went to was Lime Crime. Their bag is always the cutest. I know a lot of people are boycotting Lime Crime, but honestly, I don't know the truth. I don't have evidence, so I don't get involved in things that are none of my business. I just wanted a lipstick, and they never did anything to me, so I'm not going to boycott someone who... I don't know, I just, it's none of my business. So yeah, until I see like evidence of shady things that they're saying, I don't really care, I don't get involved. So I went to Lime Crime, and their discount was not that great. They only had like $2 off of each of their products, but whatever, I'd rather that than pay shipping plus their original price, so yeah. So the only thing I picked up at Lime Crime was the Rave Velveteen. And it is what I have on my lips right now. And I love this color. It is like a pretty like lavender neon. It's just gorgeous. I love it. So that's the only thing I picked up at Lime Prime. It was, I think originally these are $20. I paid $18. And they didn't have tax, which was awesome. Most booths this year had tax, which sucked. So yeah. That was $18. Next, I stopped by Velour. I always stop by Velour and pick up one to two lashes because their lashes are just amazing. And the lash that I picked up was Winging. Hashtag Winging. Yeah. So that's the lash. And it is so gorgeous. It is the Doll Me Up with a wing. So this lash is absolutely gorgeous. I have the Doll Me Ups. They are my favorite. But I wanted just a different one. Like, I wanted the same one, but when I heard that there was one with a wing, I was super excited. So, I picked up hashtag winging. So, after Velour, I'm not going to go in order because I it was so crazy. I don't remember where I went. So, I'm just going to grab whatever I see. So, what I see here is Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill wasn't giving away cute bags this year. They just gave this small, like, pink one. Unless you bought, like, a bunch of things. But I only bought two things. And I bought... The Loose Eyeshadow in Penelope, this shadow is gorgeous. Like, it is the prettiest copper I have ever seen in my life. And obviously the packaging is so cute. And yeah, so that is Penelope. And I also picked up the eyeshadow in Kitten Parade. Kitten Parade. And it is so flipping gorgeous. It is like, I don't know how to say it. It's like a rose gold, but... I don't know, it's so, so beautiful. And again, that is Kit and Parade. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I also went to Ingla. I love Ingla. Like, I feel like people don't talk enough about Ingla. But honestly, my favorite shadows come from Ingla. My favorite liners come from Ingla. Like, I literally love 
all their stuff and I bought two new things that I'm gonna try out and see how they work for me and hopefully they're just as amazing as the other products I'm pretty sure they are so I didn't glad I picked up three gel liners in the number 76 95 and 96 number 76 is just the white eyeliner gel liner and these last forever they're literally waterproof they're amazing and they stay put I also picked up the gel liner in the number 95 and it is this beautiful gold color I've never seen anything like this and I cannot wait to put this on my eye and the last one I picked up was the number 96 and it is just a bronzy color it is gorgeous so my plan is to do tutorials for you guys. I feel like that's what I want to do next. Like I said before, my channel is about a little bit about everything. Fashion, life, makeup, everything. So I want to put out some tutorials for you guys. So let me know if you guys are excited about that. So the next thing I picked up was the Inglot Duraline. And it is just... Um, a liquid and it says that this is a special transforming liquid that will turn any Inglot powder eyeshadow into a liquid formulation so they say that you can use this literally for anything so I bought this specifically for my gel liners because the Inglot gel liners are amazing but they do dry out really fast so that's why I picked this up because I want it to last longer I didn't pick up the number 77 because I still have mine it's a little dry so that's why I picked this up so I could revamp it girl because ain't nobody got time to spend money on the same crap so the Duraline was a product I've never used before so I will definitely keep you guys updated and the next product I picked up is the Inglot sparkling dust in the number two and they say that you can use this sparkling dust on the face eyes and body so I bought this obviously as an illuminator and it's just a golden color girl do you see that I cannot wait like this thing looks like amazing so I can't wait to use this I will definitely keep you guys updated so that was everything that I picked up at Inglot brain fart but <laughs> so next I see the dose of colors bag I went here the line was pretty decent the only thing about dose of colors was that I was so upset I wanted bury me too and the girl was like oh we've been sold out since LA but I'm like it never came out in LA so that doesn't make sense but it, it was just like annoying and they were like oh we have the terracotta collection I'm like yeah I want one color from there but you had to buy all three so it was a little bit annoying but I, just, I picked up two things that I was eyeing and I was like whatever I'm already here let me just grab grab it and try so I picked up the lip gloss in wild child I have nothing like this it's like a metallic fuchsia color and I just love this color I think it's so gorgeous and I do have the pamphlet for the dose of colors the lipsticks were $13 the matte lipsticks were 15 the limited edition terracotta the Terra collection was fifty eight. The black rose was twenty, and the lip glosses were twelve dollars. The highlighters were twenty two dollars, and I'm upset about this because I didn't pick these up. But the eyelashes were only eleven bucks. That was amazing, and I think those are wink. Uh, those are wink. Those are mink eyelashes. So that was a really good deal. I'm kind of upset I didn't pay attention to that, but it was so hectic at IMATS like. I made a list and everything and half the stuff it just went out the window so those were the prices for dose of colors so yeah I picked up the wild child and I also picked up the dose of colors liquid to matte lipstick and bury me since I couldn't get the bury me too I don't have any colors like this this or bury me too that's why I wanted both but at least I got to pick up bury me I also have the pamphlet for Anastasia, so the lipsticks were $22, the lip glosses $18, the eyeshadows were $13, the contour kit was $44, like isn't that originally $40? I'm so confused. The concealer was $22, which I think is $20. Like I feel like they upped the price $2. The contour cream kit is $44. The only good deal that they had that I missed was the contour refills which were six for 32 and then it included the free palette so that was 
way worth it and I'm so mad I did not see that I wanted that and the brow was was $15 originally 21 so I guess that was a pretty decent deal not the best I heard at LA it was 11 so anyways enough about the things I did not get next I went to LA Splash they ran out of bags that booth was so unorganized like I felt so bad for the girls they were like all over the place like they I'm thinking they did not expect it was gonna be as busy as it was but there were so many people that wanted these lipsticks and let me just say these are bulletproof bulletproof there's no makeup remover at IMAX that was able to remove this nothing even when I got home I had to scrub my hand like and it got so dry because I scrubbed it so much anyways enough about that I'm going to show you guys. So the awesome thing about LA Splash was that they were um, offering the discount that was at IMAX online, which I thought was amazing and so nice of them because not everyone was able to make it to IMAX. So for companies to make it convenient enough for someone to get the price online that IMAX had was so nice of them. But anyways, I picked up nine. Yes, nine. I overdid it. So I picked up the color Charmed. This is such a gorgeous, like, pinky nude. I love it. I also picked up the color in Rose Garden. I picked up OG Ghoulish, which is like a grayish, grayish color lipstick. This one here is called Ghoulish. This is the dupe for Cashmere of Lime Crime. I don't have Cashmere. I didn't want to buy it because I heard that that was the dupe, so I didn't want to spend another $18, $8 extra, so... I also picked up Nymphadora, which is like a brownie color. Bewitched, this color is gorgeous. And I think this is a dupe for Utopia. Because I swatched Utopia and then I went to the LA Splash booth and I swatched this one. And I'm like, oh my god, they're so similar. So I believe the Bewitched is the dupe for Utopia from Lime Crime. They have a lot of dupes from Lime Crime, actually. I also picked up Latte Confessions, which they say is the dupe for Riot from Lime Crime. And... It looks literally the same. <laughs> you guys can follow LA Splash on Instagram and you can see the photos that they post about, you know, people that do swatches or whatnot. So follow them on Instagram. I also picked up Raven Claw, which is a burgundy brown. It is gorgeous. And I picked up Cyrus. It is a navy blue. I have nothing like it and I thought it was so sexy. So I picked all those up from LA Splash and they gave you like a free. I don't know what is this replenishing elixir it is um, waterproof liquid lips remover so let's see if that works I will keep you guys updated so next I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium I was so excited because this year Nigel's actually brought different things they had like beauty blenders they had Kevin O'Quan which I wanted but it was a little bit out of my price range and I had other things that were more important on my list but next year I'm definitely getting that Kevin O'Quan sensual skin enhancer I think it's called I tried it on my hand and it was so like velvety and like it, it just felt like so amazing so they had like a few products of Too Faced lashes I was just so excited that night those they did it up this year so of course I picked up the Too Faced chocolate bar palette I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this so I'll probably show you guys a close-up but this was $35 and then I picked up the beauty blender pro pack me and my best friend split it so crap I forgot to give her half of the solid whoops sorry bestie if you're watching I completely forgot to cut it in half and give you half but anyways um so it came with six for $64 so me and her split it in half so she did 32 I did 32 which is worth it my beauty blenders last me for a while because I don't use it every day so that was definitely worth it I picked up some mascara wands. These were $2.50, the disposable ones. And then I just picked up some lashes. I think they were seven for ten dollars, so like a dollar fifty a piece. So I picked up four of the wispies. These are so hot. I love these. I picked up four of those. I picked up the number 217, the number 61. 
And then number 38. That is everything that I picked up at Nigel's Beauty Emporium. Next, I went to Royal and Langnickel. I love these brushes. They are amazing. I feel like people do not hype this these brushes up enough. So, of course, I went there and did some damage. Not too much, but I picked up the Royal and Langnickel Moda Beautiful Eyes 7 Piece Professional Makeup Brush Set in white. I like white stuff, as you can see my corner hair <laughs> so I picked that up and then I just picked up some single brushes I picked up the Royal and Langnickel well obviously it's Royal and Langnickel I'm gonna stop saying that but I picked up the pink crease brush in the number B I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the numbers right here so I don't say it but yeah I picked up this brush it is for the crease and it says 100% vegan brushes so I love that I also picked up a metal lash comb I don't have a brush like this so I thought it was really cool and I said hey let me give it a try sometimes I want to separate my lashes because my mascara kind of clumps them so let me see if this works good and I'll let you guys know also I picked up this soft fan brush from the Revolution collection which are my favorite brushes but they are really pricey so I just picked up two from this line so I picked up the soft fan brush this was eight bucks I also picked up this smudger brush which I'll probably use for my crease because it has a really small tip and it's like very it looks like it'll be very precise it kind of reminds me a little bit of the E36 from Sigma but it's not as long so yeah I also picked up a detail liner I saw this girl in the line and she had the most amazing cat eye like it was beautiful and she was like girl I use these brushes they're amazing so of course I picked it up I also picked up this fluffy fan brush this was 11 bucks OMG yeah this is a kabuki fan brush and I picked up this contour brush I've never seen nothing like it like this and it reminded me of the Ida brush from NARS so I wanted to give it a try and yeah so that's everything I picked up at Royal and Langnickel and I actually went twice I went once and then I was like let me go back and see if I find anything else so while I was waiting in the line I guess the manager felt like I waited too long and he saw that I was so patient and nice so he was like you know what just go over there and grab yourself one of those kabukis that come in the little case. So I was like, okay, sure, why not? I love anything that's free. So here's the kabuki, and it's actually angled, so I like that. And it's red, and it's really soft, so that was awesome of him. They're also really, really nice there. And they gave me a discount for 20% off your next online order so if you guys are interested I will link that down below now this booth was like girl it took forever to get to the front of the line because they only had two girls working they were awesome very nice and they were working very hard to get their girls out of there but it was so busy I waited probably like 45 minutes for these things which I felt like could have been done within 15 minutes. But anyways, like I said, they were they were awesome. They were working just two girls and they had so many people. So anyways, I went to Lady Moss. This booth was amazing. So I picked up four Coco lashes. They were four for $19. So I picked up Soho. I picked up, of course, Goddess. The infamous goddess I picked up risque risk or risque I'm not sure how to say it but these are very very voluminous and I picked up Misha which I believe either Misha or Soho are the dupes for the Mac 35 lashes I'll probably insert it here whichever the dupe is or I'll put it down below or whatever so I picked up four of those lashes they also had these Kara eyelashes which are 100% human hair I believe they had them for a dollar 25 I'm not sure but I picked up two wispies I picked up the number 523 I've never tried these lashes so I don't I'm not sure how they are but I'm hoping they're good they kind of remind me of the red cherries I also picked up the number 43 and the DW's so once I try them out I will definitely let you know how I like them so then I picked up three concealers I picked up two light ones and a darker one for contour I hear that these are amazing and they were there for two 
224 225 about their I think they had like a deal where if you buy all of them you get it for a certain amount of price but I don't do freelance so I'm, I was just buying stuff for me so I picked up the color porcelain I also picked up creamy beige which I think is like a yellow undertone one of these two are like yellowish and I picked up the no, na, ugh, I picked up mahogany so it looked like the ashiest to me like a grayish brown so let's see how that works it looks really dark so <laughs> I picked these three up I mentioned the girls were really nice like they were so busy but yet they had they didn't have an attitude and because I went to some booths and they were really bitchy at some booths but anyways these girls were awesome and they were very nice and they tried to work as fast as possible so anyways I picked up the uh one two three I picked up five of the LA girl glazed lip paints I hear so much about these and once I swatched them I was like I am in heaven let me get all of them it's like I didn't get all of them but I did love a bunch of them so I picked up the color well the name whisper which I hear is a dupe for MAC Myth. I don't have Myth, but whatever. It looked really nice when I swatched it. I also picked up Peony, which is like a nice coral, pinky coral. I picked up the color in Blushing, which is like a mauve pink. My favorite. I picked up Baby Doll. And I picked up Whimsical. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get my hands on this stuff. And I also picked up the new LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. So these go on wet and then they dry to a mat like any other. This is a trend going on right now. So when I saw these so cheap, I was like, girl, I need those in my life. So I picked up, uh, let me see, Tule. I picked up Tule, I don't know, it's like, it, it's literally candy yum yum in a liquid to matte form, literally, that's why I picked it up. I also picked up Bazaar, which is, it looks like Riot to me, and LA Splash's um, Latte Confession, so I'll probably do a swatch next to each other to see if they are similar to each other, and then I picked up Dreamy, it is like a brownie nude, so... I really like these and I think they're originally five dollars but at the show they were three dollars did I mention I was shopping for three other people that was a little bit stressful so next year I don't know if I'll do that but I'm so happy that I got to get other people's stuff because they were so happy when I gave it to them so that made me happy so the next booth I went to was Miss Adoro I have never heard of any of their products but the girl literally I was waiting in the line for sugar pill and she sold me on these products and I'm so mad I didn't get more because they were so cheap and when I checked online now they're seven dollars a piece so what I'm talking about is their lip liners they are they're they call them supreme creamy lip liners and she gave me a pamphlet and it says that these these lip liners are non-stop highly pigmented color which is waterproof and stays put. It glides on with vitamin E and jojoba, jojoba wax, making it easy to shape and define your lips. So when I saw that, I was like, waterproof? Oh my God, she was selling these for two for $5. I'm so mad I didn't get more, but either way, I picked up four, and the colors that I picked up was Nude Honey, which is like a nude color, nudie brown. I also picked up Soft pink a nice pink color I picked up bright fuchsia I don't remember picking this color but I think I don't know I could be wrong I don't think I picked this color I think she gave me a wrong one but it's okay I can use it and I also picked up rose gold which I think is a dupe for Mac Max world lip liner so I'm gonna swatch it side by side and I will show you guys and I will let you know if it's actually a dupe so I'm really excited about that and these lip liners, I tried it yesterday on my hand. Like, within two minutes, I went to the bathroom to wipe it off. It wasn't coming off. So, it really is true what they say that these are waterproof. So, 
these are awesome i can't wait for the next time i go to a show to pick up way more of these in every single color that they have so yeah i will link the website down below for miss adoro so you guys can just check it out browse through and see what you like and she said to sign go to their instagram and like follow them because they do sales here and there so i would suggest following them that way if they do a sale you guys know because those lip liners are amazing and they are so worth it even they're seven dollars originally each but they are so worth it honestly you pay 15 at max so why not seven it's the same thing or better so next i went to this booth called dante's i picked up dante's makeup brush cleaner i don't know i just saw it and wanted to pick it up i was on the hunt for corin xander's brush cleaner didn't find it anywhere i don't know what happened this year but i also picked up some lip gloss disposable wands or whatever you call these next i went to friends beauty is it called yeah friends beauty they give you this huge bag for this small little bag here but i wanted the bag i actually told the girl can i get the that pink bag i can use these for groceries so yes girl go grocery shopping in style <laughs> so i picked up three brushes from stelaza i've never heard of these brushes but they are so soft and i wanted to give it a try I picked up three the first one being df 101 the number it's a like mini stippling brush I also picked up like a medium stippling brush in the number df 103 and they are so soft I was gonna get some stippling brushes at Royal Langnickel but when I saw how cheap these were they were like four bucks each four or five bucks each so I was excited about that I really wanted to go to morph and get brushes but the line was just bananas. I was not going to do that line. Anyways, I also picked up this contour brush in the number S133. I'm saying what I'm going to use them for. I'm pretty sure they're not specifically for that, but yeah, so I'm going to use this for contouring, which reminds me of the F64 from Sigma. So if this is a dupe for that one, I will do a comparison side by side side by side for you guys so that is what i picked up at friends beauty so while i was at the dose of colors line the girl was like oh you know that mac daddy's here i was like oh my god really okay she was like yeah if you want to go get a picture with him go over there he's selling his powders too i was like what i don't even care about the picture i want his powders because girl that man is always glowing glowing like a disco ball so when i heard they were selling his powders i went right over there and i'll insert a picture of me and him here literally that's probably the only picture i got with someone my time was limited i had to be out of new york by three o'clock so i couldn't just poke around and meet youtubers that's exactly what i wanted to go for to meet youtubers so i can talk about my channel to them and I don't know just really like interact with different youtubers but i really didn't have time i the only time i had was to shop and leave and my husband was waiting for me outside how nice is he he waited six hours for me in the parking lot like he is amazing anyways i'm getting way off subject so yeah i picked up the artist couture by angel marino powders or glow pot i don't know what does he call these let me see so they come in this little like velvety pouch here so these are the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders. So this was a set of six powders for $49 or $50, I believe. I'm not sure. I didn't want all six, but they were like, oh, we're not selling them separately. So I'm like, that sucks. So, okay, I guess I'll take all of them. So it comes with Gold Digger. It comes with Double Take. It comes with Conceited, Mermaid Fantasy, Lickable or Likeable? I think Lickable. <laughs> and yes, it comes with yes. I feel like I have to say that every time. So it comes with yes. <laughs> and let me just say he was really nice. He was taking selfies with everyone that came to the booth. Everyone was like, oh my God, can I take a picture? He was like, yes, girl, of course. And all his employees were really, really nice, really funny, and that booth was awesome. So, Sigma, OMG, girl, this booth was a long ass wait. I think I waited here like an hour and some change, like, oh my god. And then randomly when we were waiting, like, Manny and um, Patrick Star like, walked by, and all, all you hear is like people, ah, Manny, Patrick! I was like... 
who is that? And then when I look, I'm like, oh, okay. I don't, I don't freak out over people, so I don't, I don't understand the whole screaming thing, but I, I just think it's amazing the effect that these people have on others that they react that way. I think it's amazing, so. I thought that was cool, so yeah, they walk right by us or right by me because <laughs> I was alone, lonely ass girl. So at Sigma, again, they just give you a booklet with the prices and the items, and yeah. So what I did, I just circled what I wanted and gave it to the girl. And I the checkout was really quick. I heard that their what was that thing called the brush cleaner, the flat one? Yeah, the Sigma Spa brush cleaning mat sold out like so fast so people were so upset about that but i don't care i have the gloves so i'm not worried about it so what i picked up at sigma was the e36 brush it is just a very precise crease brush i love that i also picked up the f64 it says it's a soft blend concealer but i'm gonna use this for contour and i picked up e06 it is for winged liner and that's what that looks like. Okay, I have to hurry up because my mom's waiting for me. So I also picked up the Performance Eyes Kit. I will do a close-up on all of these brushes so that you guys can see because you can't see it in the box, obviously. So yeah, I picked up the Performance Eyes Kit. I also picked up the Dry and Shape Accessory thing. I don't know, just like to put your brushes in and to dry them and for them to keep their shape. I picked this up for my more expensive brushes. Obviously, my Sigma brushes and whatnot so and these the price at Sigma was 30% off which was amazing and I picked up the white brush case I'll also do a close-up on this I'll show you guys really quick but I want to also show you guys inside and I'm kind of in a rush so this is what it looks like outside I just think it's so gorgeous I love white and pink so this is like my perfect traveling brush case and at Sigma, they weren't given that many samples this year, but they gave like a smudger brush, I think. I gave it to my best friend. And then some eyeshadows, and I also gave that to my best friend. They also gave this beautiful lip gloss. It's called Lip Vex. Lip Vex, I don't know. It's like a mauve grayish color. So I'm excited about that. I want to try that out. I never tried any of Sigma's makeup, so... I'm hoping it's good. And the last booth I went to was City Color. The bag is really noisy, so I'm going to just take everything out. I picked up a few things at this booth because they had some really amazing deals. So I picked up four, five lip products. I picked up the City Chic Lipsticks in the name Pinky Promise, Dolly, and Kiss Me Softly. And then I picked up the Matte to Gloss. Lips, lippies and this is in the name soft pink dazzle and I also picked up mauve dazzle can you guys tell I love mauve I also picked up the dual ended brush for contouring like contour what is my deal I also picked up two blushes the B matte blushes and blackberry and also in pink grapefruit so I picked up two blushes oh it looks like two eyeballs I picked up the shadow primer because I want to see how good it is and if it's worth it. it was a really good deal I think it was like three or four bucks I'm not sure and then I picked up this glowing complexions like girl do you see how gorgeous this is like this thing is gonna be life I can't wait and I love the wet look I told you guys the highlight that looks wet I love so I picked that up and I'm so excited to try this out I will definitely let you all know what I think about this so that was my IMAX haul I hope you all enjoyed I did miss a few things that I wanted really bad like the bio bioderma is it I missed that I went to the booth and tried it out and everything and I was like I'll come back completely forgot I wanted to go to morph I'm kind of mad I missed out on that Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, like the refills with the free palette. That was a good deal. That's pretty much it. Um, oh, and Tarte. Oh my god, I wanted to cry about Tarte because they had the most amazing deals. But who knows, maybe next year or the following year I'll be able to go back. But I hope you all enjoyed and let me know what video you guys want to see next. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!